You say you was there visiting? Yeah, I was just visiting. And Who was you visiting? Greg. So, where were you staying at at the time? Across the street. A hotel room across the street? Mm-hmm. So, why wasn't he staying there with you? Because his child is here. He has to look out for his child as well. So, do you think they're still having sex? No. Are they staying in the room together? Yeah. At night? Yeah. No? Okay. Okay, so but who is he with now? With back with me, and I told him that you you want to choose her over me. That this is your child. That other one's not his child. And I told him, like I can leave. I don't have to deal with him and keep getting hurt. I don't want to get hurt. When I'm so what was hurt. his response to that? He was like, he loves me. He cared for me. He loves me. He loves his child. He loves everything about me because we've been thugging it out. We've been thugging it out. So, I mean, so, you know, she's staying in the hotel across the street, and he's staying in the room with you. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, are you guys having sex? Yes. Okay. How are you juggling all this, man, with all these different ladies and different personalities? Hey, man, you know. Like, so let me ask, so which, <laughs> are, are you are you in a relationship with any of them? <laughs> yeah, that's the most which important Which one are you in a relationship part? with? Which one am I in a relationship uh -huh. with? Uh, What's up, YouTube? Go ahead and smash that like button. Also, if you like the video, share. It helps to spread it in the algorithm. Now, back to the content. Back to the content. Back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with the update. Um, So, how you doing today, miss? I'm doing great. How are you guys? <laughs> it's my birthday. All right, all right, all right. Hey, hey. Up, so you got up. your little birthday outfit <laughs> on, you feel me? <laughs> Hey, man. Alrighty. Man, happy birthday, man. Thank for you. sure, for sure. Thank you so much. All right, all right. So, um, so you know, so how's everything been since uh since the interview? Um, I did my post interview kind of questions as I normally do, and you know, what normally happens, happens. Um, sometimes we have to hug it out. So tell us what's on your mind right now. Everything's been going great, you know. I'm, I've got a job now, you guys, so that's awesome. And my boyfriend also has a job. And as far as the DNA test goes, we're getting that next week. So, yes, 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 yes. So, were you my able son. to? From my son. That's right. Just that's right. To, you know, clear the air. Yeah. So, so was you able to get in touch with all of the guys that were potentials? Yeah. Okay. And so, what were their thoughts on that? What was their responses? Well, the other ones didn't have a problem with it. It was just the main one that I told you guys mm -hmm. about. Yeah, it was just him getting on him a problem to agree with it. But, you know, it's all good. We did he agree to it. it? Yes, he did. And I also talked to his stepsister, which used to be my best friend. You know, besties for life. It's not anymore, but yeah, I talked to her as well. And we have a great understanding about what we're about to do. It's grown people. Okay, and that's supposed to be next week? Or no week, yes. Okay, okay. Okay, um, so, <laughs> okay, so, you know, we saw each other about a week or so ago. Right. Um, and, you know, we was, <laughs> I was going to do a follow-up, um, and I was happy to do it. And I turned around, and you guys was walking away, man. What happened? <laughs> I was nervous that day. You didn't want to talk to me? No, I was real nervous that day. I'm not going to lie. I was nervous, but at the end of the day, as long as I had the courage to come out and say that to you, talk to you personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and to come out and tell you guys this, like, yeah, you know, now we got a better understanding, like, oh, okay, I'm more confident now, I can do this, you know, I don't have a problem with it. So, <laughs> but, so, yeah. so let me ask, so, did y'all get to discuss, um, because I, I don't think you was quite aware of aware. why he left um, his church member's house last time? So it was a it was an apostle? Yeah. And he wanted sex from me. Yeah, he wanted sex from me and he wanted to um uh come out to his church. He wanted to come out, basically. 
Um, yes, I was aware actually. And then that's another thing that people were getting confused about in the comments that I was reading. People were saying that I didn't know what had happened when he was staying with Apostle D.L. Pittman, by the way, that is his name. Y'all can look him up on Facebook, but yeah. When he was staying with him, yeah, I did know because I was on the phone with him every day. Like, I know everything that's going on with that man, trust me. But yes, he had told me what was going actually you know what he didn't even tell me we found out when we got down there because he was already down there apostle D.L. Pittman he had paid for him to come down there you know what I'm saying he was supposed to be his musician and stuff like that play for him because apostle D.L. Pittman was a fan of him so he came down there to Florida to play for him and then he talked to apostle Pittman asked him could I come down there with my son and then apostle D.L. Pittman said yes he could I mean, yes, I could. So, I went down there. And I swear to you, not even a week I was staying down there, everything just started happening. Everything just started coming out about Apostle Dia Pittman. Like, I was just like, whoa. And me, Norbert, knew none of this. I was just like, what? Like, this man is this famous and nobody knows these things about him? I was highly confused. I'm just like, what? So has has it has he came out yet? No, I don't think he has. But I do think that a lot of people know about him, which is crazy to me because he's known in Florida. You know what I'm saying? He's an apostle. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask. I mean, okay. so you know, when I was gonna do the interview with you guys, one of the things that he said um, a week or so ago was you know i asked him how's everything been since the interview and unlike a lot of people he was like it ain't been good so i mean what what has been negative or what has happened since the interview that you know hasn't been good right he said that because of how i felt because of how i felt about the comments and everything like that but nothing towards you and i also just felt like i felt scared because you know it's billions of people out there millions of people out there i don't know what this person's gonna say i'm not really too concerned but you know what i'm saying it's still in the back of my head like i don't want anybody thinking that i'm trying to lie or cause harm or get publicity or anything like that because that's just not sim that's just simply not who i am that's just not me i really don't care for it but yeah you know okay every, all of that had affected me but like I said, when we had talked about everything today and got a better understanding about why I felt that way, now I feel great. You feel great now? I feel great. <laughs> well, I feel great. I'm happy that you feel great. I feel great. I so, feel great. <laughs> so, I mean, so, you know, you guys are in here. Um, you know, he called me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, let's tighten you up with a little bit of stuff so that you guys can get the room um, squared away for the night. Right, right, right. And so I agreed to because, you know, um, there's a lot of people to talk to and, and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, did you know that that he had a, you know, a child the same age as, you know, or close to the same age as your child? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, and so what are your thoughts on that? Well, as long as he's taking care of his child, I don't have anything to say. And so everybody like gets along. As long as he loves along. his child. That's all I have to say. Everybody gets along in there and everything Everybody's else. Everybody's pretty cordial. I keep it cordial. Cordial is one thing. Um, but I ain't gonna sit here and lie. I'm a body language observer. And when I was in there, I observed some body language from you. Which was? <laughs> well, I don't like her. Well, it, it wasn't a positive look when you looked at, at her, whatever she was doing at the moment. It was a kind of funny look. Do you kind of feel a way about that situation? Well, I don't feel a way about the situation, whereas the child is the most important thing. Lily is the most important thing. That's all I'm really worried about. But on the back end, it's also the disrespect level with her. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, she's just a very complex person that I just choose not to be around. So, you know, like I said, I keep it cordial. What type of you disrespect know? happens? Like, cause is it is it related to like the fact that you guys are in a relationship? Yes. So tell me what type of disrespect happens? Disrespect as far as, 
Well, how disrespectful can you go when you see that your baby father is in a relationship with someone else? How disrespectful can you go? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I will tell you right now. You can go as disrespectful as touching on him. On his private parts? Him, no. Or just like touching no, his arm and stuff? No, just rubbing on him. You okay. know what I'm saying? Trying to show her version of affection. Right. Calling him bae in front of me and stuff like that dead and like and this and this it doesn't even have anything to do with him this had something to do with me and her this was personal because i felt like that was just petty you know what i'm saying i'm not even entertaining that but i come over here one night to try to come in the hotel come in the side door she came to open the door for me but i was trying to get my baby short up the sidewalk i guess it wasn't quick enough for her she turned around and let the door close <laughs> I was just like, wow, 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 like, why did you do that? Like, did you have a key to get in? No, I did not. So you had to, like, call I was there and... visiting, yeah, you know, and... You say you was there visiting? Yeah, I was just visiting, and... Who was you visiting? Greg. So, where were you staying at at the time? Across the street. A hotel room across the street? Mm-hmm. So why wasn't he staying there with you? Because his child is here. He has to look out for his child as well. So do you think they're still having sex? No. Are they staying in the room together? Yeah. At night? Yeah. No, okay. Um, so I mean, you know, it's it's a possibility that they might be having sex and just not telling you. Especially if she's calling them bae and stuff like that. I it, women it. women women are more emboldened to be disrespectful when they are in fact getting the D from the guy. Or have gotten it. No, not have gotten it. It's when they've got, when they're currently getting it and they know that they're getting it and you don't know. A lot of times that's when they're kind of blatantly disrespectful, calling Bay and stuff like that. Um, did you not think about that or? Yep. I most certainly thought about that. And, and so what was your thoughts? I just don't believe it. Okay. Yeah. I just don't believe it. I can I dig don't. it. I can dig it. How old is their baby? Two months. Two months? Yes. Okay. Um, does he act affectionate towards her in any type of way? No. No? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay, okay. All right. Um, and so, I guess the reason he, why... He shows more affection. Matter of fact, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. He shows more affection for Lily than her. Because, whew. Lord, have mercy. What? Mmm. <laughs> Guys. Get it out. Guys. Mm, mm, mm. What about guys? No, I'm not talking about men. I'm talking about as an audience. Like, I'm to. Oh, like, you're guys, like, oh, guys, like, this woman is crazy. Like, yeah. How so? What else does she done that's crazy? I mean, I get the little kind of cattiness that women have, the competitive. Oh, kind no, of I'm, not, I'm not even concerned about that. It's really. My concernment for the child, like, but you know, others will say, you know, that's not your child, stay in your place. So I'm going to stay in my place, but just know that I have observed some things that I just feel like you have concern not, about. Yes, I like, get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, nope. we don't have to. I'm gonna stay. In I my get place. it. I get it. I get it. Okay. All right. In my place. All right. All right. So, I mean, you know. It seems like you guys are definitely still in the middle of your struggle. Mm -hmm. um, but you say both you guys only, are working. Only about a quarter of a halfway through. Well, hey, that's always a good you thing, know right? You what I'm saying? As long as we're getting through, Pro progress is always matters. Progress that's is always a matters. good thing. That's all that matters. Um, but so, as far as it goes, have you guys received any paychecks from your jobs yet? No, we haven't. Okay, so it's still kind of that new that it hasn't yeah, been like yeah. a paycheck cycle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, because I was just about to ask, like, why'd you need, you know, yeah, the money and all that stuff. Paid yet, you know what I'm okay, saying? and so which is really hurting me, hurting him, cause wow, we have children. You know what I'm saying? What are you doing for extra money? Yeah. Like, well, so have you had to sell any sex for money? No. No. Nope. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. I would just reach out to some family members, family and friends, and they'll see what they could do maybe some churches you know see what they could do for us because we really did need the help you know what i'm saying but yeah i can dig it i can dig it 
All right, miss. Well, listen, Um, you know, it's your birthday. All right. Yeah. Definitely again, happy birthday. Thank you. Um, and so if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help or donate, um, you know, do you, same way, same cash app? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Same everything. We got yes. the grimy and the this and the trap slim and all this other stuff. Yes, and I also <laughs> wanted to say because people were saying in the comments as well that my social media names was a representation of me. Um how so you know what i'm saying like when i came up with those usernames i was just being fun being well crazy, i mean well it, it, it's not it's not but about so it's not about how so i'll answer the question right it's not right. about how so because it is a representation of you but right. the explanation that you're saying is just that you got you made those handles when you were younger and that's right. fine everybody yeah, I've had people those, can understand, yeah. understand that you growth is is what happens in life and so yeah. you know but as you grow you do want to maybe consider changing those handles yeah, because they're going to represent you in a way that you've grown past right yep yeah yeah, All right. that makes better. Yes, that makes sir. good that sense. Makes better sense. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we love it. I don't we mean love to be it. Hostile. All right. No, nah, you were good. You're good. It's your birthday, girl. You can you can do whatever you want. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, listen. We really appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate you taking the time, answering all of our questions, giving us this update. Yeah. And um, we definitely wish you a happy birthday. Thank and you. And definitely nothing but the best out here. Okay. Yes. All right. You make Thank sure you have you a good one, sweetie. You guys too. All Bless right. you guys. <laughs>